Romans chapter 2. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judge, for wherein thou judge another, thou condemn thyself, for thou that judge dost the same things. But we are sure that judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And think thou this, man, that judges them which do such things and does it and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads thee to repentance? But after thy hardness and impenitent heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Who will render to every man according to his deeds? To them who by patient continuance in well do we seek for glory and honor, immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. For as many have sinned without law shall also perish without law, and as many as sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience, also bearing witness in their thoughts the mean while accusing or else accusing one another. And so there's just a real division in the church this is Rome, and Paul is writing about just this complete and utter breakdown in the church. We already saw that in Romans 1, and now this is this whole thing, will have, the rest of Romans 2 is going to be about the circumcised. Uh, we already kind of covered that in Galatia, but um, it's about the Jews wanting the Gentiles to turn the way to the Jews, get circumcised and follow the law. So this is all about Paul saying, no, 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 we need to be unified, come back together. So, so the rest of this is going to be a lot about the law and circumcision. Here we go. 16. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel, behold, thou art called a Jew and, rest, and restest in the law and making thy boast of God. And know his will and approve the things that are more excellent being instructed out of the law. And art confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish a teacher of babes, which has the form of knowledge and of truth in the law. Thou, therefore, which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself. Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery. Thou that abhorrest idols, dost thou commit sacrilege. Though... That makest thy boast of the law, through breaking the law, dishonors thou God. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. For circumcision verily profit if thou keep the law, but if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? And shall not the uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee, who by the letter and circumcision does transgress the law? For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. And all God's people said, stay in the word. That's why I'm doing these videos, by the way. They're just like short little videos under, usually under six, seven minutes. And that way, as you are driving the car and just going about your daily chores, you can get the word of God as it straight comes right out of the King James Bible. I'm not adding to it. I'm not taking away. I'm just giving you the word because a famine 
other word is happening right now today because this church is so apostate and they take the word they take little eisegetical scriptures out of the bible they tell stories around it and they perform their performances around it let's not do that let's just stay in the word amen